Hey, welcome back. This week's video is how to make rhubarb and custard macarons. Let's get started. First off, if you want to make your own rhubarb jam, start by adding the chopped rhubarb, water and sugar to a saucepan. I also added some frozen raspberries for colour, but this is totally optional. Then gently simmer this over a low heat for about an hour, stirring occasionally so it doesn't burn, and then set aside to cool while making the macarons. So to make the macarons, whip the egg whites and sugar in a stand mixer until stiff peaks form, and this should take about 5-8 to eight minutes depending on your mixer. And then sift the almond meal and icing sugar into a large bowl. Whisk this together and then add the meringue mix. Fold together gently until combined enough that there aren't any clumps of almond or icing sugar, but so that it's not fully mixed either. And this should be about 20 folds, which is half the folds that you want to do. And then take half of this into another bowl and add pink food dye to one and yellow to the other. And gel dye is best for macarons, however I was going for a pastel colour so it didn't need a lot of liquid colour so it didn't really affect the consistency. Then continue mixing each of these until the mixture is sort of like lava so it flows off the spatula slowly but eventually sinks back into the mixture in the bowl. And if that was kind of a rubbish description then that's about 40 folds, so 20 to start with and then 20 more once the colours have been added. And if you're only dyeing it one colour then add the colour to the whipped egg whites because it makes it a lot easier but because I'm doing two colours and I didn't want to do two separate batches I just did it this way. And then pipe these out onto non-stick baking paper and if you want you can draw a stencil on paper and put that underneath. And I did some where it was just pink shells and yellow shells but then I decided I wanted to be a swirl of both so I added both piping bags into one other piping bag and piped on little swirly macarons and to make the swirls even better emphasize it with the toothpick. And so I didn't want to add the rhubarb jam or custard powder to the macaron mix in case that messed with the consistency, but if you happen to have rhubarb or custard essence, if they even exist, I'm not sure if they do, um, you could add those. But I just went with vanilla shells and very flavoursome fillings. Bake these at 140 degrees Celsius for about 15 to 18 minutes, and this recipe doesn't require the shells to be left out on the bench before baking like some recipes do. And so to make the custard buttercream, add the butter to a large bowl and mix until light and fluffy. And then sift in the icing sugar and then beat for another 2 minutes. Then add the cream, custard powder and vanilla. Mix for a further 1-2 to two minutes, but don't over mix once the cream has been added. Then transfer to a piping bag. Then pipe a ring of buttercream around one macaron shell, leaving space in the middle for the jam. And then spoon the jam in and press on the other macaron shell. And that's it, just dig in and enjoy. Thanks for watching and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and if you want to see more British candies turned baked goods I have a whole Brit recipes playlist so check that out and thanks again for watching, see you next week.